Flying. My name is Alon Guichard, I'm the co-founder of FlightNow. And uh, put simply, FlightNow is a ride-sharing uh, platform for small planes. So what we're doing is we're connecting private pilots who want to go flying uh, with people who want to share in those flights. And it's really the easiest, most affordable way to go flying in a small airplane. Uh, when I say small airplane, I just generally mean a four-seater Cessna. Uh, it could be anywhere from two to ten seats, though. All right, so what's the problem right now? Well, if you're an enthusiast or if you want to go flying, there's a lack of options. You either have to know a pilot, which is pretty rare. You can charter a plane, it's going to cost you a couple hundred bucks an hour. Or you can get your pilot's license, which as a pilot myself, I can tell you, is going to be very expensive and it's going to be very time consuming. Now, for the pilots, there's also a problem. Well, it's expensive. It's about $140 an hour for a four-seater Cessna to go flying. And that's something that keeps pilots grounded all the time. It uh, doesn't let them go flying as much as they want to. So FlightNow is a solution to both of these problems. Like I said, we're a web platform for connecting pilots and enthusiasts who want to go flying. So for the pilots, the pilots' principal benefit is that they're able to connect with people who want to share in the flight, and they're able to defray the cost of flying. For the enthusiasts, we're really just providing access to a lot of pilots who are going to various destinations at various times and really making flying accessible to the common person. All right, so this is how it works. So I'm a pilot, let's say I'm going to Martha's Vineyard this weekend. Um, I would go on the website, post that I'm going to Martha's Vineyard on Saturday, let's say. You're an enthusiast, you go on the site, you have an interest in going uh, to Martha's Vineyard as well. You would search, we'd be able to find each other, connect, see if we're a good match, go flying together. Um, at that point, right on the site, you can pay for the shared expense of the flight. Um, then you just meet at the airport. In, within minutes, you're flying to Martha's Vineyard. After that, there's tools on the website uh, to share your experience. So our business model is fairly simple. Uh, pilots pay yearly access fee um, to gain access to all those enthusiasts on the site. And enthusiasts pay um, a per connection fee. So per flight, they pay, they pay a fee for that. This is just a quick glance of uh, what our users might see. So you can see there's a couple uh, different destinations and different shared costs. Uh, so you'd be, able to, you'd be able to select one of those and uh, go from there. All right, so what's the market here? So we're targeting adventurous young professionals, people looking for a new and exciting experience. Um, we, we, we always like to say, like, like look, we're not, we're not just a product or a service. We're selling the dream, dream of aviation the thrill of flight. I mean, this is like, it's just so cool to be in a small plane. You see the whole world from a different, different perspective. Uh, it's just it's just a ton of fun. So the market, uh, is, there's a very strong market potential here. Um, just, one mar just one market vertical is the discovery flight market. And that's just going up in the air and just experiencing kind of like a adventure flight. What we've noticed that's very interesting is that just by pairing people who can fly or who have airplanes, pilots, with enthusiasts, there's just a whole new way of getting people to where they're going. And that's something that's also becoming very interesting. Um, <clears throat> the pilot side, it's 20 million plus flight hours a year. That's a huge potential to tap into. And the low side of that market is estimated at 1.4 billion. So it's also a good, good potential for flight now. And our go-to-market is uh, pretty simple. So we're pursuing a viral growth strategy. We're seeing that uh, with all our beta testers, everyone's sharing their experiences. Over 30 likes on Facebook. People are making it their cover photo. And we just get such great feedback from everyone that, that we've gone flying with that uh, we really feel we can build up the enthusiast side uh, like this. And being a web-based platform, and really what we're doing is very simple. We're just connecting pilots with enthusiasts. So we really think that this is a scalable, a scalable uh, model that we can Take nation, nationwide. So we're in Boston right now, we're running beta tests, and um, we really want to take this nationwide. So with that, we're looking for investors who are passionate about aviation, and um, that's it. Thank you for your time, and I urge you to go on to flightnow.com and uh, check out our beta. Okay, that's actually a really good point. So, 
paying more the paying more uh, for the cost of the flight. That's something we can't do because as a private pilot, you have to pay at least your fair share of the cost. So um, we thought about going off that question. We thought about let's say if you and I go flying together, we just split half half. That's that's all right. But if I have four seats, we could actually split that up and, and, and charge per seat. Well, right now we're going with the former. So if it's you and I, we just split half half. It's just pretty simple that way. Do you have any data on the pilot safety records before you book a flight? Yes. <laughs> so there's a there's a pretty so right now in beta that's, that's a good question. So, so um so yeah, we vet all of our pilots, we interview them, check their airman certification record, make sure that they've had no incidents. Also background check. I mean this this is a whole process I guess on the pilot side, um, to do to be accepted as a pilot. Sure. So there's mainly two roadblocks. One, the share of expense in the sense that a pilot has to pay at least his fair share of the flight. And uh, the second thing is that pilots can't solicit uh, flying. So what happens is that a pilot can if I, if I can't go up to you and say, hey, are you going to Martha's Vineyard this weekend? I'll take you. What I can do is say, I'm going to Martha's Vineyard, and you can tell me that you want to come with me. So that's called having a common purpose. So those are the two things that have to exist. You and I have to have a common purpose. The common purpose does not need to be the same. We just have to have a common purpose, and then the share expense. You're saying putting online, we'll take people on here for money. It's just a common purpose. You're, you're calling them, the same thing as just saying I'm going to Martha's. Yeah, so if I'm going to Martha's Vineyard, let's say I'm going there to see family. You want to go just to hang out with friends. Well, if it's going to cost me, let's say, $120 to go there, I can share the expense 60-60. And we both have the same common purpose. So that's how we get into, that's how it works. Um, yeah, I mean, that's something, well, right now we're in beta. We have 300 people signed up. Um, but yeah, there's going to be some kind of uh, vetting process for for the passengers as well. Yep. Uh, it's really just based on the operating cost of the airplane. So that's fuel, oil, airport expenditures. And um, it, I mean, it, it does vary a little bit, but generally it's it's pretty standard. Like a Cessna, a four-seater Cessna will cost you about $140 an hour to rent with fuel. So they're making the price for the pilot, that's the price yeah, so that's renting. I just quoted your price for renting. So that's that's so it, it's it, it's based off of the, the the price that the pilot pays essentially. So these people who own airplanes or renting? Uh, it could be both. It could be both. Uh, good question. No, <laughs> it's just oil, uh, airport expenditures, and fuel. Those are the only costs that you can that you can share. But those are actually vast majority of the costs. <laughs> Everything else is very small compared to that. So, yep. so I just wanted to ask uh, one question: Is so are you a pilot yourself, or how did you come up with this idea? Was that something that you know? How did you guys uh, come up with? Yeah, this that's idea? a good question. So actually, this is something that arose. Uh, for me being a pilot, um, one of the co-founders is also a pilot. So this is something that goes on at a lot of uh, airports all the time. People like if, if you're if you're going somewhere, I would post on a, on a on a bulletin board and say, "Hey, I'm going to Fort Lauderdale this weekend." Someone might contact me like, "Hey, can I hitch a ride?" So I used to do that all the time, just defray the cost of flying, and get up in the air more. So what flight now is is really just an online bulletin board. It's taking that exact same process. And putting it online, and making it accessible to anyone. So, so yeah. Uh, how, how frequently is it actually the case that um, a pilot can find somebody who's going exactly where they're going, exactly when they want to go? Like, I feel like there would be a problem at least for me if somebody says, "Oh, I'm going to Florida uh, this weekend, and I'm coming back on like Saturday afternoon, but I want to go and stay till Sunday." I guess that's you know, it's not going to work out, and I can't get randomly another ride back. Probably it's not going to coincidentally happen at all. I guess then the passengers are the ones that are at least reorganizing their schedule based on what the pilot 
want to be. Yeah, so the past just about to be rescheduled. But at the same time, I mean, um, we're not really trying to replace commercial aviation, you could say. I mean, this is something that, like, um, I mean, if, the more flights you have going on, the more people on the, on the platform, the less likely you are to run into those kind of problems. But at the same time, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a valid concern. There's not going to be a destination all the time for when you want to go, or you might not always be able to, to find your seat. But we think that for the most part, I mean, if you can connect with a pilot and go flying, to go, go to Martha's Vineyard for $120 round trip, or fly over to Boston, fly over Boston for $60, I mean, that's just an awesome experience, you know, why not, so. Yep. Um, well, I guess you could say there's there's two types of flying. There's via, like, visual flight rules and IFR, um, which is instrument. But um, really, there's no, there's no, like, there's no set I guess uh, limitation on where you can fly. It. There's different. There's different requirements for flying. And yeah, I mean you're all. Yeah, you're, you're on. You're on everyone's radar. You, you have a transponder, so everyone sees you. The radar. You're, you're, you're speaking to the tower. The tower knows you're there. They see you on the radar. It's a very controlled process. So. So yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Join Boston New Technology Meetup, sponsor an event or a venue, present your idea, and attend to network with Boston's brightest. Details are at www.bostonnewtech.org and in the video description.